Oh, hi there. My name's Sue, and you must be who I'm here to talk to. You see, I have a genetic condition just like you. What's that mean? Well, a genetic condition is something that affects my body at the genetic level. Don't worry if this all sounds very complicated. Come closer and I'll explain. Closer. Closer. Closer still. Right, now you are looking at the cells which make up my body. Let's take a look in the middle of one. You can now see 46 chromosomes. What's a chromosome? Well, a chromosome is basically a place to store all the genetic information about our bodies. If we unwrap one of the chromosomes, then we can see that the genetic information I'm talking about is wound up like a tightly coiled rope. This is DNA. Now, if we pick a part of the DNA to look at, and it can be any part. You want that one? OK. Let's take a look. Now we can see that the DNA is divided into sections called genes. These are specific instructions for specific parts of our body. For example, this gene is one that contributes to the shape of our nose, whilst this gene contributes to how tall or short we are. OK, back to the chromosomes. If we organise all of the chromosomes in any cell, we can see that there should be 22 pairs and also a pair of sex chromosomes. I have two X's, like all women. The sex chromosomes are what decide whether a person is born a man or a woman. A man has an X and Y chromosome, whilst a woman has two X chromosomes. Everyone gets one sex chromosome from each one of their parents. Now, the genetic condition that I have is called Fragile X Syndrome. This means that one of my X chromosomes is slightly different from the other one, just like yours is. This different X chromosome means that I can find some things difficult. Now, the thing is, I want to have a baby. But, because of my Fragile X chromosome, I have some important choices to make and some important information I need to understand, together with my partner. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is Jay. We want to have a baby together very much. But watch what happens depending on which of our chromosomes Jay and I give our baby. It's all down to chance. Mama. This baby is a little girl who has Jay's X chromosome and the fragile X chromosome from me. She will be a little girl a lot like you and me. She has the fragile X gene and she might find some things difficult like we do. This time, the baby has Jay's Y chromosome and the unaffected X chromosome from me. This makes him a little boy who is unaffected by Fragile X. But this little boy has received Jay's Y chromosome and the Fragile X chromosome from me. This means that he will be affected by Fragile X, and he's likely to find many things in his life difficult. This baby is a little girl who is completely unaffected by Fragile X because she has received Jay's X chromosome and my unaffected X chromosome. So, there is the same chance of me having any one of these babies every time that Jay and I try for a baby. That is, a one in four chance every time. Now, the children look the same as cute little babies, but watch what happens if we look into the future a little way. Now the children are all grown up. See how the boy and girl, unaffected by Fragile X, grow up fast and leave to start their own lives. And it won't be long before the girl with the Fragile X chromosome will leave as well. This just leaves the little boy who has the Fragile X chromosome from me and Jay's Y chromosome. He has the Fragile X gene, and with no unaffected X chromosome, he's grown into a man with learning difficulties that will have a great effect on his life. See how he fidgets with his hands. He may do this all his life and need taken care of all his life as well. Now Jay and I are older and our son is a grown man, but he still needs looking after. We love him very much, but even with all the help we receive, it can still be very hard work sometimes. But don't panic though, this is all in the future still. Now I'm pregnant, I still have choices and so do you. Let's go for a drive and I'll show you.
Here's our first choice. Whether or not to have a test that can tell us whether our baby has fragile X. Let's see what happens if we decide not to take the test. By making this decision, we can go back home and have no more decisions to make, other than the ones all mothers have to make, of course. It'll be a gamble as to whether the baby has fragile X or not. So it'll be a case of wait and see, although whilst we're waiting, there will be all sorts of help and advice to look at so that we are prepared for the possibility of a child with fragile X. In any case, I don't have to decide straight away. Although it is better to take the test sooner rather than later, I can talk to my genetic counsellor about the best time to take the test. It's at the hospital, but we don't have to stay the night. And I don't have to do it on my own. A few weeks after taking the test, I'll get the results. Then I'll know whether my baby is a boy or a girl and whether they have my Fragile X chromosome or not. If the baby doesn't have my Fragile X chromosome, then I can go home, relax and enjoy the rest of my pregnancy. If the baby does have my Fragile X chromosome, then there are some more choices to make. One choice is to go back to the hospital and have a termination. Stopping the pregnancy. Of course this would be sad, but I know that the staff at the hospital will help and support me if I feel this is the right thing to do. Of course I can choose to go ahead with the pregnancy, just like you can. No one can ever force us to do something that we do not want to do. It's hard for me to tell you what this decision will be like for you or me to live with. He will be a handful, that's for sure. And whether or not you or I could cope, I honestly don't know. But this is a choice that you don't have to make on your own. Remember, it's up to you. It's, it's up, up to us. us.